Today, I'm gonna to show you how to stretch your food photos to make better Instagram stories. What is up guys? Thank you for joining me here today at the Raw Factory. I'm Jacob and I'll be walking you through this quick little tutorial. Please note that this works best with photos that do not have much going on around the top section of the image, such as these for example, and not these. So here is the first image we'll be looking at. Here I have a macro shot of some whole food balls. I'm going to duplicate this layer for safekeeping. Right click, duplicate layer. Rename it to stretch. And now I want to adjust the cropping. Select the crop tool, hit clear to remove any previous settings and now select 16 by 9 ratio as this is great for Instagram stories. Click the arrow key to rotate the crop ratio. Now simply drag the box to move it around and scale up until you are happy with it. I now grab the selection tool and make a selection over the empty space I need to fill. To bring up the content aware feature, hit shift delete on your keyboard. Select content aware and click OK. Bam, there you go. How simple is that guys? Let's do another one and this time I also want to add pixels to the bottom of the image. Firstly, I'm going to duplicate the layer. Right click, duplicate. Rename it to stretch. Grab the crop tool, select 16 by 9. Click the arrow keys to flip the aspect ratio and now drag the frame up. Grab the selection tool, click and drag around the area that you want to fill. Hit Shift Delete on your keyboard to bring up the fill panel. Select Content Aware and hit OK. Wait for Photoshop to do its thing and BAM! How good is that? Now I'm going to drag the image up a little bit and to fill in that space below, I'm going to redo what I just showed you. It needs to move down a little, I think. Yeah, now that's looking great. Let's do one final image that can be a little bit more trickier. I have set this one up ready to have the content aware fill applied to it. I create a selection around the blank area, hit shift delete on your keyboard and click OK. As you can see, it hasn't fully worked. To fix this, I'm going to use the patch tool. Simply draw around it, then click and drag. Perfect. And now the other one. Just doesn't look right. I think I'm going to do the left side again. Yep, now that's looking great. I'm gonna add some text to the final image. Select the type tool and drag a selection on where you want the text to go. Type in whatever you like. Give the text some space in between each other. And there you have it. The double beef burger, now available for delivery. Well, that is all for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it. And I'll see you all in the next one. Catch you.